in the world do people take selfies? Like, what's the point of a selfie? Now for me, I like to take selfies so that I can really show you guys all of the different makeup and hair looks that I'm rocking. I'm gonna give you guys all of my secrets when it comes to taking selfies. From the camera I use, to the filters, to the different editing apps, and of course, tips on how to pose because that selfie's gotta look on fleek. Okay, so let's do this. Honestly, from my iPhone 6S. That's what I'm using for my selfies. It's pretty simple. Um, as long as the lighting is really good, I think it's, it's totally fine to use your iPhone. There's nothing wrong with using a cell phone. And it's crazy because you see sometimes my iPhone selfies, you guys think I'm taking it on like a professional camera, but it's like, no girl, I took that on my cell phone. But when I wanna take a more glamorous selfie is what I call it, or if I want you guys to really see the details on my makeup look or maybe a specific hairstyle, I use my Sony, what is it called? A5100. I really love using that camera because I feel like you guys can actually see the details of my makeup looks and everything like that. I've also been using that camera to take like thumbnail photos for my YouTube videos. I can't really accomplish that with my iPhone, so it's really awesome when I can take it with me on the go when I travel. Feel free to take a selfie with your phone. I think the key is lighting, you guys, so just keep that in mind. So let's say you have a really good camera or you're using your phone. It doesn't matter what you use if the lighting is not your friend. So what I like to do is shoot a lot of my selfies here in my house. This room is specifically my favorite because there's tons of windows, tons of natural light coming in. That's kind of where I take all of the Sony selfies that you see in that one spot. I'll share some of the pictures right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it's always in that one corner in front of the window. Me and Steve got these like sheer white curtains and it really is a great way to block out the harsh sunlight but still get the lighting that you need. It's very seldom that I post a selfie without putting it through some kind of editing app, okay? I mean, I'm all for it. Snapseed is an app that I love. If that's the first time you're even hearing about that app, where have you been? Because that is the best app. It's like the first one that I started using because what you can do is you upload your selfie and you can target certain areas of the photos that you really want to bring to life. So sometimes my hair is just like looking super washed out, super bright, but I love the way like my makeup looks in the photo. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of darken that area and make it look as true to the way that it did in real life. Um, another thing that I do with Snapseed is just sometimes brightening my photo makes all the difference. Brightening it a little bit, a little bit of contrast and saturation. I don't try to do too much in terms of oversaturating my photos because I do like that natural, real look. The next app that I really like to use for my selfies and even for my outfit photos um, when I want to filter it is ViscoCam or VSCO Cam, whatever you guys want to call it. I really love this because they have all of these different preset filters and you can change the strength of the filter so if it's too harsh you can lower it or you can raise it up whatever it is that you want to do and sometimes all your photo really needs is that filter and just very little amount is what I like to use so visco is totally my favorite for filtering the photo and then last but not least I can't live without the facetune app it's my period month sometimes and you get those pimples and those blemishes and you know what maybe you just want to like delete it or erase it. Sometimes I got a pimple in the middle of my forehead and I'm like, I need to patch that out. And also they have a details feature on Facetune where you can like really like tap into certain areas of your face to make it stand out. And I always click around my eyes and like any other areas that I wanna highlight, maybe my earrings, maybe my bangs. And so I'll really bring that out and, and bring it to life. And then the last thing I, li I like to use Facetune for, for just doing a little bit of smoothing out. It's just the slight lightest amount of airbrushing, nothing extreme because you don't want to look like a glamour shot. So just a little bit here and there can really make the photo stand out and make it look 10 times better. Um, if you're just not a good selfie taker, and you're just like, I seriously suck at it. I don't know how people do it. The best advice I can give to you is know your angles, okay? So like, I obviously know what my good side is. Uh, maybe it's me sharing like, I just got a haircut. I'm usually gonna hold the phone at a lower angle and really bring it up so that you guys can focus on the hair being the centerpiece of the photo. Maybe you wanna focus on the new choker necklace that you got. Well then, I would totally recommend, you know, holding the phone horizontal so 
that you can really showcase that vibe and that scene. If you're wondering like how do you pose for a selfie, I think the best thing to do is just to sometimes give yourself a bunch of different options. I always take more than one selfie and there's nothing wrong with that because you want variety. So definitely try the different angles, even the sides that you aren't fan of because you never know. Just always try to have fun with it, you know? You don't have to be completely serious when it comes to taking selfies. Relax, enjoy yourself, laugh, make a goofy face, stick your tongue out, whatever it is you gotta do, that's what I recommend. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed my little tutorial on how to take the perfect selfie. Now, if you're somebody who does like to take a million selfies throughout the day, I totally recommend getting like a Mophie charger or something for your phone because you will lose your battery power, I'm just saying. Let me know below if you guys have any other questions about taking selfies or any photos in general, um, and I'd be happy to answer a few below. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, until next time, mwah, mwah. Bye guys!